What's going on today, guys? I got a new item here I wanted to go over with you from JWH Custom, JWHCustom.com. They make CNC milled 1022 bolts, all kinds of custom engraving. You can get any of their stock ones that you want, or they'll do custom engraving for you. They also make uh, charging handles and buffer kits and mag releases, speed hammers. Um, but I got the one of their bolts. This is, like I said, it's a CNC milled bolt versus the stock Rugers that are cast. Uh, it comes with uh, the firing pin and the extractor. It's a complete drop-in bolt. The difference is this one is if you can see that is cross pinned to prevent the firing pin from moving around in that channel. The problem I was having with my stock Ruger bolt is this this bolt is 20 plus years old. I think I, I looked this up and this was built about 1984. I bought this thing used 20 years ago. You can see the I've did a little bit of polishing in there to try and slick it up, but you can see the wear inside the receiver there. Is after they get wear on them, they get loose, you start getting the firing pin floating. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but you can see that firing pin has the ability to, to move up and down. Now, I'm sure that the wear on the top of the bolt and the staking has a lot to do with it. But the problem I was running into is under normal plinking it wasn't an issue. But speed shooting, like you do for Steel Challenge, um, you're shooting and this bolt is moving so fast that I think that firing pin was, was starting to float up. I was getting good strikes but they were on the extreme outer edge of the case rim and uh, was just a problem. Now I know that you know the charging handle is supposed to hold that in there but when I drop this bolt in see if I can show you you can see how much slop there is in there. This is a lot of wear. Now I did some some micrometer measurements on this and uh, like the width the stock Ruger bolt width is about uh, about 931 and the JWH Custom is about 939 so there's about eight thousandths difference wider um, they, they fit inside the receiver a little better so they got the cross pin. They also radius them quite a bit on the back side to uh, speed up the hammer resets as opposed to the stock Ruger. You can see there's almost no or very, very little radiusing, but you can feel a step on it. This is just a smooth transition around. Um, if you'll notice, it has a scorpion engraved on it. He does, like I said, they do all kinds of custom engraving. You can get the stock ones. You can have ones engraved. I picked this one because it was on sale for 59 bucks, and I couldn't care less that it has a picture of a scorpion engraved on it. But I have no time to test this. I'm going to put it in the gun. I'm going to run it Saturday. Um, it is not a USPSA sanctioned match. It's just an outlaw match, so it's not going to hurt my scores if it don't work out, but hopefully it will work out. I also bought some of their polyurethane buffers to go into the receiver. As if you know, the stock Ruger buffers are basically just a big pin, big steel pin. So, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Drop it in the receiver there, and this thing slides in there like butter. So I'm anxious to try it out. 
and uh, I'll get some footage of it Saturday and you can see how it runs see if we have any problems with it but for $59 and then I got a three pack of buffers which was I think about six bucks the whole deal came out to like $60, $65, shipped so check them out jwhcustom.com take care guys catch you next time